Hello there, this is Lance again. Now look, uh, remember in the other video, which was actually hysterical, it, it wasn't a disaster, but I had my daughter doing certain actions on extension inflection, and of course, it, it turned out to be rather amusing. Well, also in that video, do you remember I showed you how the body, bend it forward, come onto your hands, distribute your weight evenly, come forward, and when you're going back, use the push and the pull method, you just don't push, Keep your bum down. You remember that? Well, that's when the body is fluid and seamlessly working. Now, so that's in real life, you can be absolutely, per and then suddenly an emergency occurs and the body has to go rigid to take pressure. So I'm going to show you the difference it makes. So, Linus, go down as if you're going down, hands, bend your knees, hands on the floor, this bit. Now, that's the same position that I'm in there. So now she's slowly moving forward, nice and easy. But I wanted to go to full, now move back first. And notice, she's using her, her bum and her arms to pull her back. Stand up. Right, so that's the seamless movement when you're just moving. Now go down again. Now, we suddenly go and we've got to extend our body into full extension. And now in order to, now the body has to be rigid in order to take the pressure of body balancing. The whole body has to, really fight. So I wanted to lift her left leg up and her right hand forward. Now, see the hips are level. The body now is, every muscle now is holding that skeleton in place. Put it down. Right. Now, we do check the other side. So we lift the other leg. Now see the difference? What's the hip? The hip is going down. Instead of coming, lift your le uh, right hip up. See? Right, come down. That tells you something. This is the importance of doing the exercise. That, now, if she was in a gym or if she was doing it in a group, nobody picked that. She wouldn't. But straight away, if you do these things this way, it showed you that her ability to maintain her stability on that side is weak, which means that those muscles are not holding her frame. Now, it is important that you realize that she has to get this both sides working. So what? So when she when when you're going out in, into the moon, what was that limit? You did the That's last right. one. You did the last one when you came out. Yeah. So anyway, she wants me to. This is the this is the openness of having your own children do it because they force you to do something when you don't want to do it. You're not in the mood. What she's trying to say is, how do you come out? You come out just nice and easy, perfectly balanced, and you move your body into an angular situation. But the body has to be absolutely rigid. You must feel it from your heels to the top of your shoulders. You don't drop your shoulders. The shoulders still run. When you're coming back, the bump pulls, the hand moves. The bump pulls, the hand moves. Both things are moving together. That is the important aspect of this. Thank you very much indeed. Love's here.